So, Atari is releasing a new classic Atari console. That's probably what it's going to be. It's not going to be anything that we haven't seen before. It's going to be something that we've already seen. Or, excuse me, something I've never seen before. Because I didn't grow up in the 80s with the Atari 2600 and all of the other Atari con consoles, including the infamous Jaguar, which was released in 92, which was the last Atari console because... the Hang on. Before I even get started on this video, the reason why the NES and the Atari 2600 kind of failed eventually, specifically the Atari 26... Uh, the reason why Atari and Sega specifically failed as video game companies with their own consoles is because they were too stuck in the past if you looked at what Nintendo did and what Sony did, and Sony, for starters, was a new player in the 90s, and they dominated the 90s. They had all of the great games that we recognize from the 90s, like the Final Fantasy series, like Chrono Trigger, like Castlevania. Sony did their job, and then Nintendo's just like, well, wait a minute, we have the Final Fantasy series, we have Chrono Trigger. Sony is making a more powerful console in the PlayStation 1, and they're going to be able to have 3D graphics with the game. So we're going to build the Nintendo 64 as well, and we're not going to be stuck in our old ways. We're going to try and adapt and overcome. Sega and Atari did the exact same thing, and that's why they're not creating, and that's why they, aren't, and that's why they don't have any more video game consoles anymore, and also why Atari went bankrupt. I'm not here to call shots. I'm just saying that's why they went bankrupt. That's why Sega is on the decline, as well as the disaster with the Sonic series, by the way. But hey, that's why most of these companies that were really popular in the 80s, late eight, mid, mid to late 80s, excuse me, early 90s, that's why they don't create consoles anymore, because they have only nostalgia to rely on. And that's exactly what this new Atari console is. It is going to be nostalgia personified, like the super, like the, uh, what was it called? Like the, like the mini S, like the mini NES, the newest console that is great for playing NES games. But for me, for most people that are 20 years old, we didn't have the NES. We didn't have the SNES. I have the Nintendo 64. I may want to play, you know, something similar. I may want to have like something like that with a Nintendo 64, but I didn't grow up with the SNES. I didn't grow up with the NES. So I'm not really that bought on the Nintendo NES or the Nintendo Entertainment System Mini. But I do understand why people want it. I do understand why there's a market for it. And that's why Atari is building this new console. But unfortunately... But, you know, because... Nintendo, or be, because Atari went bankrupt, like I've kind of alluded to, in 2013, they have pretty much been making only mobile games, and this is their only really big shot at kind of being not a joke anymore, because nobody's really taken Atari serious for really years. Nobody's taken any of these gaming companies seriously, like Sega, for years, specifically those two, Atari and Sega, because they've just not done anything. And Sega has the rights for Sonic, and that's only that's the only thing they've been producing. But we haven't been taking Atari serious. This is really the only opportunity for Atari to, to be serious as a game developer and as a console or as a console creator. Will they be will they take this seriously? Will they be successful? Probably so. There's a lot of nostalgia with both the NES and the new Atari system, I feel like. But I do think that Atari will have the ability to gather some audience members and create some some noise, but I think that it will all blow over because they probably won't do anything with that momentum because they're so stuck on what they did almost 20 years ago over what they can do 20 years into the future. This is 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. Again, I will be streaming. Like always, 6 to 10 p 6 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come out, have some fun. I'm gonna be playing The Witcher 3. Maybe some maybe one other game, but it's primarily going to be The Witcher 3. Tomorrow I will release kind of 
an interesting story. A vo voice actors, excuse me, specifically for video games, going on strike really since October of last year. Haven't really talked about that. I was reading an interesting article yesterday and the day before. Until tomorrow, where I will have a little bit of fun with that video. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.